Hi, it's Bill Russell from CrossFit Cleveland in Rocky River, Ohio, here with your workout details for Monday, April 20th. We're going to start out with a 9-minute warm-up. You're going to do 15 jackknife sit-ups, 10 windmills, right and left, big reaching windmills, then 5 lunges. You're going to do a forward and backward lunge with each leg 5 times. So that's forward and back with your right leg, forward and back with your left. That's one rep. You'll do five total. And then one walkout to five supermans. And I want you to perform 20 plank jacks each round, either at the beginning, somewhere in the middle, or at the end. You'll do that for nine minutes. Our workout today, double Tabatas, similar to regular Tabata intervals, but double the time. You're going to work 40 seconds for max reps and rest for 20 seconds for five movements. But instead of the traditional Tabatas where you do all of the movements so many times and then you move on to the next, you're going to cycle through this list of crossover push-ups, alternating arms, sumo deadlift high pulls, lying leg raises with a hip thrust, Romanian deadlifts, and then the last movement each round, double unders, but instead of 40 seconds, you'll do it for a full minute. You'll rest long enough to record your total reps for those five movements, and then you'll do that three more times. So there'll be a total of four rounds. Your cool down, three minutes total of an iron chair, also called a wall sit. If you can hold it for three minutes straight, you're done. If you need to break it up into multiple sets, do that so that you accumulate a total of three minutes in that iron chair or wall sit position. As always, we have demonstrations of each movement on the video to follow in the order that they've been listed. So when you're done and you're ready, set your clock and three, two, one, go. Have a great Monday. Your jackknife sit up in that hollow position. You're going to bring it up and all the way back out. All right. If you want, you can, with your shoulders off the ground, just keeping that off the ground, just going to come in and give it a little tuck. All the way up, tuck. Either version of those is totally fine. You're going to, you're going to go all the way down and all the way back up and replace your hand and come all the way down. Make sure that you're getting pretty dynamic movement in this. All right. Right, left is one on those. On your backward lunges, you're just going to, like, similar to the four, but you're going to be moving backwards. You're going to go all the way back, watch your toes, all the way down, push up, and go all the way back up. I'm going to demonstrate a stepping lunge for you. On these, you want to make sure that your knee is not going in front of your toe. You're going to go get the other knee all the way to the ground. All the way down, push up through the heel, and all the way back up. You could do these in place, or you can, if you have, uh, if you're outside or you have a, a long room, you can do these as walking lunges. You just want to make sure that you're coming all the way back up and opening your hips at the top of each movement. Five supermans. And after your fifth Superman, you're going to walk it all the way back up, touching your toes and your ankle, and all the way back up. Just one of those. I'm going to demonstrate plank jacks for you. There are three positions that you can do with the plank jack. The most common in our gym is on your forearms, like you were going to hold a plank hold, with your feet together, like a jumping jack in the plank position, out, in out, in. So out, one, two, three. Remember these are plank jacks, not pike jacks. So not sticking your butt up in the air, but trying to find that hollow. And they're meant to be done fairly quickly. You can also do the plank jack at the top of a push-up. When you do that, make sure you're corkscrewing your hands into the ground Get a good position with your shoulders. Don't let them ride forward, but up, straight, 
plank, out, in, out, in, out, in. And the hardest, and it's a good challenge, try to do it at the bottom of push-up. Hold yourself right off the floor. Those are three variations of plank jacks. I'm going to demonstrate a crossover push-up using a dumbbell and then a ball. I'm going to start out one hand on a dumbbell, the other hand on the floor, and do a strict push-up. And then you're going to step over, opposite, down, and up. Down, and up. Down, and up. If you need to do that on your knees, same idea. You have a dumbbell in the center, come off to the side, switch over. There are your crossover push-ups with a dumbbell. If you have a slam ball, or really any other object about six or eight inches high, you can do the movement on this as well. Hand up, down, and up, over, down, and up. That's a crossover push-up. Applying um, leg raises with a hip thrust. So if you have a kettlebell or a ball or a dumbbell, something to hold on to, or your chair, you preferably be holding on to something. So the chair is a little bit flimsy, but I'm going to show you what it looks like anyways on the chair for you, those of you who don't have anything solid to hold on to. You could use a dining room table leg. Let's get creative with this, guys. All right, right here, we're back into that hollow. Up, thrust, and lower it back down slowly. Right here, if you can, hold it nice and tight. If you need to put your legs down, that's okay but try to give it a good pause up at the top, okay? Up, pause, and down, pause. I'm gonna demonstrate a Romanian deadlift using a kettlebell. First, so I'm gonna come up, keep my chest nice and straight, and I'm gonna pick up my kettlebell. Now I like to have my feet underneath my hips a little narrower. And now I'm going to hinge from my hips. I'm going to send my butt back and lower down, keeping the weight close to me, and then pop it back up. I'm going to keep my back straight. Only go as low as you can. Once you feel your back start to round, you want to stop. You want to keep a nice tight back, down all the way, and back up. I like to go down slow and always pop back up. That's a Romanian deadlift. You can do the same with the tool bath, the toolbox, the rucksack, or our laundry detergent. Holding the handles, keeping that weight close to your body, let this slide right down the front of your legs. Down and back. Down and back. Double unders if you have a rope, or you can do ropeless doubles. So if you know how to do doubles, you know that you jump a little bit higher, or sometimes quite a bit higher. So you're going to do a high pogo. So instead of low, you're going to... And think you're doing doubles and pretend that you're spinning the rope twice. It'll get your heart rate up just the same. You'll actually do more of those consecutively than you would with a rope if you're not that good with doubles. So your heart rate will go up. And that's what we want. 